Hey NJ Babes, it's your girl Nikita J and today we are headed to Turks and Caicos. So we arrived at the airport. This is a mini airport and this is just a quick look at our arrival. And now we are on our way to an Airbnb. We did book an Airbnb instead of an all-inclusive because the all-inclusives in Turks and Caicos were wildin'. Maybe because of how I planned, but for the most part, they were like several thousands. Like, cause we were here for eight days, eight nights and I wanted like a good deal. And this Airbnb was that when I say all inclusives were charging like twenty seven thousand for eight days, eight nights, twelve, ten thousand, like that's pretty expensive. Turks can be expensive, but if you can go a better route and pay less, why not do that? When it meets all of your criteria, nice, clean, modern, and comfortable. But we arrived on a Sunday and everybody says that you should go to Noah's Ark on a Sunday. So I was like, we arrived early, I think at like 1 o'clock p.m. So we showered, did our thing, and now we are headed to Noah's Ark and we are at the Blue Haven. So you have to take a, um, not the Blue Haven, what is this? This is the Blue Haven Marina, something like that. Okay, don't quote me. But you have to take a boat over to Noah's Ark, which is like basically a day party in the water. And was it really packed? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But um, it was just a day party in the water, so it was nothing crazy. I think Drake definitely made this a thing because it's literally just a party in the water. It's nothing different from like going to a lounge. It's definitely a different experience to have a party in the water, but like the bar was crowded. Like you couldn't get a drink for like an hour. So I'm pretty sure if you go on like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it won't be as bad because um, basically the best day is Sunday. The food was good though. The jerk chicken was really good. The fries were seasoned well. <laughs> So Noah's Ark is done at like 6 o'clock, 6.30 p.m. So there was still daylight. So after we were done with that, we took a taxi and we headed over to the grocery store. And you guys, Turks and Caicos grocery store is expensive. For like a pack of mini Snickers, it was $16 American. Yes. Um, so yeah, we got a little bit of groceries for that right there is $192 worth of groceries. Yep. Mm-hmm. And this is the grill area of the Airbnb and in the back of the grill area is a laundry. I didn't get that on view. I also didn't get our outside shower by our room in view. It's it's simple though. And these were three pools. One is really hot, one is medium, and one is cold. And I'll let you guys know that later. Here um, we are walking to get some food from the food truck. Everything was in walking distance from our Airbnb. The beach was eight minutes. This food truck was five minutes. Aziz's lounge is like three minutes. This chicken sandwich was okay. The bread could have been softer. The chicken was good. Um, fries, you can't really go wrong with fries. And the tacos were good. So yeah, you can walk everywhere. For, well, to a lot of the hot spots from the Airbnb that we were at. So it was just like the perfect walk life. Like, I just can't let you like I can't let you know enough how that Airbnb was just so close to so many good restaurants close to this beautiful beach like the sand is soft here we are at Ricky's lounge and um, the food here was okay um I feel like Turks is big on like conch I don't know if I'm saying it right conch conch whatever the case may be but um this food was cool at Ricky's Flamingo so yeah look at this turtle and egg somebody made in the sand how cute but you guys, the sand here is so soft. The water is so beautiful. Turks and Caicos has to be my favorite beach. And I've been to a lot of places. And Turks and Caicos has to be my favorite beach. It has to be. It has to be. Um, this was just a beautiful hotel. I was like, let me show you guys. Like, isn't it pretty? And it's the Oasis at Grace Bay. Just so you know. Here we were trying to decide what we wanted for dinner. We didn't go with this place. The menu just wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. But I wanted to show you guys. Just in case you may want to. Feel free to pause. And we did choose this place right here. Isolana. And it was really, really good. Look how cute. And they don't care that you're in your um, beachwear. Like it's so cute. It's so cute. I hate it that I was in my beachwear. <laughs> but it was so cute. And the food was really good here. I did like it.
And here's what the villa looks like at night. It's beautiful. We did breakfast at home, you know, save a little bit of coins. And Coco Bistro slash Coco Van is like a one, two minute walk from our villa. And we just came here to pop in and see the menu. You'll see that we visit here later and we ate at Coco Bistro and Coco Van later in our stay. And Coco Bistro and Coco Van are lit really good. This is us walking to um, like kind of like I guess the market area. And this is about a 12 minute walk. So it is hot, but mommy, you would be proud. I loved walking. I walked my whole visit. So yeah, we walked. This was about a 12 minute walk there, 12 minute walk back. But there's so much to see here. They have um, just like so much. You'll see. You'll be able to get like um, souvenirs. You'll be able to get ice cream. You'll be able to get dinner. Like if you stayed at that villa, you just you just have convenience at the palms of your feet. <laughs> Yeah, so we spent a lot of time walking in Cirques and we spent a lot of time at the beach. Going to the beach, we met a wonderful um, couple. They were amazing. You'll actually see them later on in the video because we paired up after that because they were trying to go to the same spots that we were as well. So yeah, but Turks is a beautiful, expensive island. Well, expensive in some areas, but priceless. We made a stop at Sweet Fix. Here we got a milkshake and brownie that we split. And the milkshake was okay, but the brownie was good. It was nice, rich, chocolate, chewy, and decadent. That's how I like my brownies. And it was good. Here we saw this place we might want to go it was like um, I forget skull something and it's the Mexican spot and I was just checking the menu and here it is for you guys if you may want to try but we didn't try it um, my husband went here he got like um, some hookah thing from here so if you have like mm, someone who enjoys like cigars or liquor that's where to go and here we are making reservations for dinner um, by the beach and they gave us a complimentary rum punch and it was really really good so yep and here is us back at coco Bend getting a snack um a big mac egg roll that we split and it was good it was good
and here we were just doing our own little thing in the pool and this is the warm pool the one with the waterfall is the cold pool and the other one is the um, heated pool so yeah this is just us in our downtime with our little invisible volleyball net having fun And here we are at Aziza's Lounge. We're early. We made dinner reservations, I believe, for seven. And it is a lounge spot, so you'll see it pick up later. Um, and it was good. It was a nice little vibe. The mosquitoes were heavy in Turks and Caicos. And I don't know if it was just me and my blood, but they ate me up. Um, but um, they ate me up at Aziza. And again, um, this place was cool. Um, this is my shot. Oh, the calamari was okay. I had these wings were good I had um lamb chops for dinner and this leche drink it was good it was good um the lamb chops were good so yeah can't go wrong and he had asparagus and salmon and rice and he said his was good too And this is Aziza Lounge turning up. You see the people coming in. It's And this is a birthday party right here. This was another day we decided to get um, massages. They had a, a mobile spa. And this is Wednesday when you go to Conk Shack or Conk Shack, whatever. I forget which one is right. Don't don't school me. Sorry. But I believe it's Conk. Um, the Conk Shack is it has a live show on Wednesdays. And the food was really good here. But the customer service was... Mm, 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 mm yeah no but um the food was good so that's good <laughs> smoothie 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 and this is what the menu looks like and feel free to pause and zoom in where you need to but I'm giving you an idea of pricing and what the prices look like. For any meal that we did, we spent between $50 to $100, depending on how we wanted to eat. And then um, depending on the restaurant, it might have been more if we ate more or it was fancier. The fancier it got, the more expensive it got. And there's a beautiful view of the beach while you eat. The sky looks like cotton candy. Someone had said to get this cheesecake. It was like a two out of 10. Ugh. This is the live show that happens on the beach. And it's just kind of like a tribal dance, which is nice. And for Barbados, I said that flying fish was the staple of the island. And here in Turks, it seems like conch is the staple of the island, like the staple food. But yeah, enjoy this little show. And then there is a fire act, which is a part of the show, and he starts inside and then makes his way to the beach. And it was pretty cool. He is blowing fire out of his mouth. Insane.
And here we are back at the marina. We are about to do the jet cars. So there was a minor misunderstanding when we booked the jet cars, you can pause to see. So we thought that you drive and then the drone photo shoot occurs while you're like, you know, doing your thing. However, um, the guy misinformed us, we just booked the drive. So no drone shoot next time. But I did like the jet car better than I like jet skis. I just, I mean, I just felt more secure in the jet car. But uh, my husband said that it didn't drive as smooth as a jet ski. So, yeah. And you guys, we were in Turks for a while, so this vlog is not in complete order. It's just to kind of see and show you places that we, you know, liked and went. And yeah, right here we got some ice cream and I got grape nut, which if you haven't had, you must try. My um, homegirl Madeline put me on. So yeah. And here one day we went back to Coco Van for lunch and the lunch was okay. Um, the, bur the burger was good. The chicken sandwich was just big as hell, but it was okay. And here we are going to Infinity, our dinner um, next to the beach. It's a beautiful view. Um, the food was okay. Um, it was actually kind of good, but small quantity, very, very small quantity. So I felt like you're paying for the view, which is top tier though. Another clip of the beautiful beach because we visited the beach daily. That's why we are super sun-kissed. And here we are at Coco Bistro and this restaurant, um, I want to say a 9 out of 10. We loved everything that we got down to the appetizers, the drinks, all of that stuff. This bread, like, I don't know how, what, like, Coco Bistro was just really, really good. Um, the only thing that was okay was the shrimp and coconut rice. This right here. Lamb's good. The potatoes right there, get mashed potatoes. Don't get that one. Um, and that is mahi. Delicious. Like, so, so, so good. So, the only things that were, were okay were the shrimp and coconut rice and the potatoes that came with the lambs but this is the nightlife club shista was the place to be and we did join the couple that we met on the beach here because they wanted to go here we wanted to go here and it was it was a good time twerking and twerks it's not really packed right now but you'll see upon our exit that it got crazy So this is us about to exit and you can see like it's full completely full.
So here we just stop the chat until the next destination. This is Sierra and she's one of the people that we met and that's her husband, Jerome, the other person that we met and they are super cool. And this is just, you know, the strip. So now we are headed to Blue Lounge and it was super small and it was super packed as well. Go Sierra. <laughs> Because we love a good beach day and Sierra is full of adventure. She um, insisted that we do this airhead and we did. Yo, it was intense. You were like basically being bumped up in the air just because. So it was a ride. This was one day we went to the Conk Shack together, the four of us, and we got a snack, Conk Fritters, and they were good. And after getting our snack, we went to Crackpot, and Crackpot was good. Um, they had more like an island feel. I, I got oxtails and they were good. The rice and peas were good. It was a good spot overall. The drinks were good too. And this was later on, this was dinner, and it was at a seafood spot, and it was really good. I really liked it. The only thing that was okay was the calamari. Like, you don't need the calamari, like, at all. It's just breaded and just a whole bunch of going on for nothing. But other than that, the seafood was good. So we left here and then we went back to Aziza Lounge because I knew found people were there and that was a vibe again that night. After here, we went to a nearby casino. Jerome kind of schooled us. God rest my auntie's soul. She would have loved this. And then we went to Versace and we didn't stay here long so we don't really know if it picked up but apparently the live night was Thursday. Thank you for watching. Right, right now, like that. Yeah. Oh, record in a picture. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited. Are oh, you can get it to him now? Oh. Uh -uh. I can't believe these are the only straps to hold on. <laughs> we got this. Hold on. All right, that's good. I think. Who's phone? That's mine. Oh, okay. Oh, one more. Ah, cool. You put it on my back. So he gonna come back. Don't forget to come back. Okay. Is it spiked? No, I don't think so. Oh my God, my heart. <laughs> you scared? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh, we got this. You scared, kid. 
You're not even holding on. You're only holding on to one. <laughs> oh, it's more in the back. Oh, okay. Let some more loose. <laughs> oh, my goodness. OG, if you record it, let me know. I got you. Okay, now I'm gonna watch y'all do it. Yeah. And remember, if any yelling, don't worry about it, just realize. <laughs> yeah, she gonna yell. I am. You said I'm you sorry. are? She is gonna yell. Sorry. You heard me? <laughs> Better hold on. Girl, I am you my right here. My arm hurt right there. Oh my goodness. Don't hold me. You good? I'm nervous. I'm trying you to get uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not bad. I'm excited. <laughs> oh my goodness. I ain't gonna lie, we ain't in the air. I'm good, baby. We all can swim. We'll be just fine. <laughs> this shit kind of windy, though. <laughs> no, but the parachute may be a little more nervous than this. Because oh, wow. you in the air. You better, you... Yeah, you gotta fall. And I ain't worried about the fall. I was worried about will the wind take us? Because oh, okay. we on a parachute, but yeah. we come off the chain, where's the wind going to take us? Right. It's like, I'm, I'm anticipating it, and he's taking so long. He's taking so long. Because he's trying to set it up. <laughs> I don't, gotta, I don't think he did all this right shit here. yesterday. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ain't that fast. No. Oh, we're 